It's Rich with Rich Bound Photography, Sacramento, California. I'm a wedding portrait, uh, professional sports, uh, ultra races photographer, but what we're doing here today is real estate photography, and um, that's the direction that I have gone into because I love it, and I want to help everybody, and it's 2017. I hope 2016 was great. Anyway, I got a request to do, oops, where are we now? I got a request to do a tutorial on grass replacements. Now, a lot of you know I do sky replacements and I use an actions, actions called PPA uh, Photoshop Actions. And uh, this is a little different. So grass replacement, really, it is going to take this grass here and I'm going to make it into this grass here. So you can see I am absolutely altering reality. So this is going to be the caveat and the disclaimer that no one should do this if they don't feel comfortable. I always do it with um, I do it with caution. I only do it if it's okay with the agent or requested by the agent, and I only do it to certain amounts, and I rarely do it. But here in Sacramento, we have this kind of lawn all the time in the summer. Not right now because we've gotten 12 feet of snow up in Tahoe and it's been downpouring for weeks. So we're gonna have green lawns almost all year, but we are gonna have this issue come up. And an agent's gonna say, please make this look a little better or completely replace it. And I'll say, listen, let's compromise. And again, you should talk to your lawyer, talk to your consultant before doing any of this. And I know I'll get some hate mail, but please understand this is only a tool to show you how to do it. And you got to do it under your own conscious and your professionalism. So this is another example is if we were going to do this area here and the agent said to me, tomorrow the truck is coming in, we're laying sod, it's going to look perfect. I might be able to do something here, or if it's for a designer or a new home contract uh, builder, I might put in grass in the same method. But my method today is simply how to take this grass and turn it into this grass. So you can see it's not perfect. I didn't want to make it perfect. I just wanted to help it. And we can help it in different degrees. So let's get started right now. I went through my grass library. I have a, uh, you know, like a sky, a sky library. I want you to start doing, putting together grass samples from houses like this one. This is a nice piece of grass. And uh, yes, I did say piece of grass. Anyway, bad joke. Um, anyway, what I did here is I'm just going to put this, I when I'm shooting a house like this, you can just put in a keyword grass replacement or grass library, like a sky replacement, and you can all of a sudden have 30, 40 pieces of grass you can choose from that are similar to what you want. So this and this, this will fit into this nicely. Uh, it's a little bit greener here than I'd like, but I'll show you in the technique I'm using, it really doesn't matter. So. First thing I'm going to do is pick this and I'm going to pick, let's move this into the grid view. I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to pick this one. Okay. This one is what I want to replace. This one is what I'm going to replace it with. So I've highlighted both of those. I'm just going to go into edit. I'm sorry. I'm going to go right click, edit in, edit in Adobe Photoshop. Now I'm not picking O. Open as layers in Photoshop, and I'll show you why. So just go two separate images, edit in Photoshop. Okay? So as this is opening up, I just want to tell everybody, again, you don't want to alter things. I'm in no way advocating altering things, altering reality in real estate photography, because that's a slippery slope, and it is not ethical to a point. But we all do little bits of trying to make things nicer to a point. And I'm just showing you the tools how to do this. Um, I'm not saying how much to do it or how to do it. OK, so I've actually only imported one image in here, which is the glass we're putting into. Let's go over here, and I'm going to do again, edit in open, I'm sorry, edit in Photoshop. So that's going to come in as two separate layers. OK, here we go. So what I want to do now is click on my grass layer 
And what I want to do is pick the polygonal tool. And if you're not familiar with that, it's up here on the left hand side. And I'm just going to select, go click, click. And I'm going to avoid the shadows because the shadows will not fit in because the picture I'm putting it into does not have shadows on the grass where I want it. So, but this will be enough. So I'm just selecting this. I get the marching ants. You want to select your selection that you're going to input. And what I want to do here is I want to do Command V on a Mac and uh, do Command V to, I'm sorry, apologize. Stop, stop, stop. Command C for a copy. Or I could have gone up here and edit and just gone edit, copy. Okay, a lot of ways to do things in Photoshop. So you do Command C for copy. And then I want to do is go to the other photo that I want to put it into and do Command V, which is paste. And there we go. We have our grass layer on top of our layer we want to put it into. Now one trick we're going to do, and we do this a lot when we're doing stuff like this, is to take the opacity and lower the opacity down to about 70% right there. So I can see what I'm doing with this. Now I want to move this piece of grass to cover up the other piece of grass. So what I do is Command V. I'm sorry, Command T. I'm getting all screwed up on my commands. Command T is for transform. Okay, you could also go up into edit and to transform, um, free transform. Anyway, so we're going to, we got this here. And what I want to do now is to just see it. If I bring my cursor down here, I get this little arrow, which uh, is a curved arrow. And I want to basically, I want to adjust the angle right here. And then I'm just going to click in the image and I'm going to bring it down to here. I'm going to cover all the grass. Now, if I needed a little extra grass because I didn't have enough, I could just click on this and move it any way I want to move it. And if you move it a little bit, it's really not going to change things that much. But if you move it a lot, it's going to adjust the perspective. So I recommend um, choosing a piece of grass that is similar in perspective in the angle and the color to what you want to put it into. So I am now going to go back to 100% opacity and I'm going to go up here and click the check so I have moved it where I wanted to move it. Before you do anything you've got to move it and select it and approve it and then now we can play with it. So what I want to do now is I want to go into my paintbrush. I want to select paintbrush which is going to be du jour. Today I'm going to have um, I want to do 75, 77% hardness. I don't want to have 100% hardness and I want to have a soft brush. The other thing I'm going to do is in the paintbrush, make sure I'm selected down here on the left. I'm selected to white for paint. Okay, actually I'm going to swap those. So I've got white up here. You could also do it with your X key. Hit X and it goes between paint, erase, paint, erase, paint, erase. So I'm painting this in now. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to make a layer mask. What I want this to do is put the grass underneath the other grass. So I have this layer on top. The grass layer I'm inserting is on top of the other layer, which is the background layer. And now what I want to do is just go down to add a layer mask. And I'm going to hold down the option key on a Mac. Alt key on a PC, hold it down, click, and magic, it's underneath the grass layer now, as we can see. So next thing I'm just going to do, and you can see we have our layer mask on black, so we can, it will now paint in, actually no, I want to have it on white, what was I talking about? So make sure when you do your layer mask, you're on white to paint, okay? So let's enlarge this up just a little bit. So we can see what we're doing. And now here's the fun part. I'm going to do, oh, flow, I've got to do 20%. I'm going to do just 20%. You could actually do 30 or 10 or 6 or 80, whatever you want. I find 20% works great. Okay, so now I want to make my paintbrush about this large. Here we go. And again, I have my paintbrush set at 70%, hardness 77, whatever, and a soft brush. 
Okay, now what I want to do is I'm just going to do this freehand. Now I could select the area, but I don't need to. I'm just doing it freehand. And what I'm doing now is I am just clicking, clicking, clicking. I'm not clicking and dragging. I'm not painting in that way because I want to do it more selectively. So I'm just going to go click. There we go. And I think you're all going to start to see how this works. And my whole point here is I don't want to fix it 100%. Actually, I'm going to bring this down in hardness to 50%. Okay. There we go. So I want it to be very subtle. Here, I'm just, you might be able to hear click, 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 click. I'm just clicking. I'm not dragging and painting. Okay. So, and I'm not making it perfect because that's not the point. It's really not a grass replacement, it's a grass touch up. And we might do this with certain things in real estate. Uh, sometimes walls, if they tell me the walls are going to be fixed tomorrow, um, I might fix a hole in the wall for them. But again, use your own judgment and consult your, uh, your legal analyst to help you here. And I'll be honest with you, I think I've done the job. There we go. Let me put in here actually a little bit of grass in here. Nope, that's not going to work because it's a shadow. So you gotta, you don't want to have shadow if it's shadow. Anyway, so there we have it. We have our photo, and we can see it went from this to that. And I think, you know what, I'm going to buy this. And if you really want to take it down a little more to what it is in reality, just go up here in Opacity, click Opacity, and you move your slider, and you can play with it. There goes zero Opacity to 50%, which actually you could... You know, 50 to uh, 0 to 50 actually really helps. But I'm going to go up here into 100%, or actually I'm going to maybe take it down to 85% opacity. And that to me, really, I'll buy it. And it is just, you know what, um, it's, it's really, really a slippery slope. And I know I'll get hate mail, so I'm not advocating doing this. But I'm just letting you know how you could do it if you so choose to. And you can also use this technique on many other things uh, like asphalt here. You could do it here and fix it up. If they were to say, we're going to power wash it on Monday, let's get this driveway clean and nice, you could do it the same way. Um, although I would charge a lot more money, uh, this grass replacement I might not even charge for, uh, especially if it's a good agent. Anyway, I'm going to go hit Command S W, and it's going to bring it back into Lightroom. And what I have here is um, I want to show you again, and I just want to go into all my photos, and I'm going to go no, uh, I'm not doing any um, any keywords here. Okay, I'm just talking to myself. Apologize. So let's see here. We could use this as a grass piece. And what I'd recommend is if you go, you could even go to a park and shoot a huge piece of grass at different angles, different heights. So you would have a few uh, pieces of grass for your for your grass replace, replacement library. Okay, let's look here. Um, here we, we have a piece of grass from high elevated if you need it. We have, uh, oh boy, I've got people shots. I'm trying to find you some really quick. If you go through your photo, oh, look at this. Here's a beautiful one. Beautiful one. If you were to go through your pictures, this is grass on a cloudy day. So that's going to be a great piece of grass. And all you'd have to do is to, um, you know, uh, put a keyword here in Lightroom. Just put here. I'm going to, ah, that's funny. The name of the street is Sweetgrass. So I'm just going to put here grass. I just put G in and it says grass replacement. So now I've got another piece of grass for my grass replacement library. And let's see, oh, here. See, here's something really interesting. I did a uh, little sky replacement here. Here's the, the image without 
a sky and here's a sky wait here's a sky replacement but i think you get the idea it little replacements i'm fudging it and some people don't even do sky replacements but it will show you that you can uh, enhance something so i've got here a nice elevated piece of grass um let me get out of here and i'm going to uh Go up into here and look, I've got even a piece of grass right here. So if you go through your library, you can find lots of pieces of grass that you can pick from and choose from or go out on your own and shoot them. I think it's a great way to enjoy your day. Take some pictures while you're out. Take some pictures of skies um, and you'll have them for your library. So anyway, this is Rich with Rich Bound Photography saying thanks a lot for joining me. Please tell your friends about um, Richbound Photography Tutorials. Got some big stuff coming in 2017, yet to be released, but it'll be really cool. And uh, shoot better, shoot smarter. 2017 is going to rock, and we're all going to do better, make more money, and shoot better properties. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Looking forward to all of you. Um, looking forward to all of you subscribing, if you're not, and liking or not. Thanks a lot, buddy.